Hi, once again, Pastor Bob from True Life Community, Seventh-day Adventist Church here in Denver, Colorado. Solomon, you know, is considered the wisest man who ever lived, except, of course, for Jesus. Solomon wrote many words of advice that could and should be followed even today. There are many stories that prove that point. A lot of the advice has to do with the use of our tongue, you know, our mouth, or our words. I read about one story where a man was awarded $80,000 in a discrimination settlement and then lost it all because of one Facebook post. Seems the man had a contract with the Gulliver Preparatory School near Miami, Florida, and when his contract was not renewed, he filed an age discrimination complaint and was awarded the $80,000. But once he was awarded the payment, his daughter posted on Facebook saying, basically, mom and dad won the case against Gulliver. Gulliver is now officially paying for my vacation to Europe this summer. She sent the message to 1,200 of her followers, which included many Gulliver students and alumni. From there, the message spread all over the place and the school officials found out about the post. Eventually, the Third District Court of Appeals for the state of Florida ruled that the man had violated the confidentiality agreement that he had signed, and he received nothing. So, we come to Solomon's wise advice. He had some strong advice about the way we use our words. Listen to Proverbs chapter 21, verse 23 in the Clear Word Bible. If you know how to guard your mouth, you'll save yourself a lot of trouble. Isn't that true? Then again in Proverbs 10, verse 19, the more a person talks, the more likely he is to sin. But he who listens more than he talks is wise. Someone said, they think too little who talk too much. Pray that God uses your words to glorify him today, okay? Father, we use a lot of words every day. In our, in our contact with people around us, we talk. Help us, Lord, to glorify you in all of our speech. In Jesus' name, amen.